What is up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. This is Krishan and if you clicked on this video then you're probably wondering what are some interesting facts about JavaScript that you did not know today? We'll go over it right after the intro. Good morning, everyone. Um, so today will be a very short video because I know tomorrow I don't really have time to actually even vlog on my lunch break or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a short video for you today. And I do have some interesting things I wanna talk about towards the end. So if you want, make sure you stick through this video. Something that I wanna tell you guys that I plan on doing with this channel really soon. So just so you know, what, what I'm doing is li I'm literally just going on Google right now. I figured, you know, since JavaScript has been around for a very long time, there must be some things that we don't know about it that we should, probably should know. So let's go ahead, let's get into it. Let's go with some interesting facts about JavaScript right now. So, if you guys didn't know this, JavaScript has actually been around for more than 20 years. That's a long time. I'm 30. <laughs> so, just thinking about all the things that happened in my life, the changes that happened in my life within the last couple years alone since becoming a programmer is insane. JavaScript, as well, is actually one of the most popular languages on the internet today. Everyone uses it. Whoa, okay. Actually, this is an interesting fact. JavaScript is actually one of the most misunderstood languages out there, meaning like um, a lot of people, when they think of JavaScript, they compare it to Java. I'm not, I'm pretty sure this didn't just happen to me. I'm pretty sure this happened to you guys too. Who here has done it? Let me know, like this video, leave a comment below, respond to me down below, please. For me, I was wondering what's the difference between Java and JavaScript, so I'd go on Google. What is the difference between Java and JavaScript? And when I think of Java, I think of a coffee cup. When I think of JavaScript, I still thought of a coffee cup. I still didn't know, and so Java and JavaScript, Usually for those who don't know code or anything, they always get confused between the two and yeah, that's that's interesting. That's, inter well, that's actually a pretty interesting fact. Okay, let's see what else is on here. Uh, JavaScript doesn't have an integer data type. Whoa, I didn't know this. Check this out. JavaScript was written in two weeks. What the heck? Oh, 10 days. That's crazy. JavaScript was written in 10 days, man. That's crazy. No wonder it's such a pain in the butt. <laughs> but dang, that's crazy. Okay. Some people says um it's easy to learn. It runs on a browser. Just open your console and start coding. That's true. When you do work with JavaScript, you don't even need to create a file on your computer. You can literally just go into console and work on JavaScript from there. That's pretty true. I didn't know about wait, what? <laughs> okay. JavaScript has over 50 frameworks, perhaps more than any other language. That is very true. I honestly do believe that. I it's not hard to believe. And Java JavaScript, if you didn't know this, let is a new var. So usually in JavaScript, you use the var uh, to hold a variable, var variable. But now let is actually the thing you want to use. So even for me, I don't use var as much anymore. I tend to use let about JavaScript. Anything else interesting about JavaScript? I think that is it. Anyway, guys, I hope you like that pretty short. I just want to get a video out to you guys. Make sure that I continue to give you content Monday to Friday. Before I upload this video tonight to go live tomorrow, um, afternoon or tomorrow evening, I want to talk to you guys about something too. As you know, if you follow me on Instagram, if you're not, you need to follow me um, right now, Real Chris Sean. Go on Real Chris Sean and um, you know, follow me right now. I'll give you about five seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Thank you for adding me. I really appreciate it. And if you did add me, leave a comment on my latest post and let me know that you follow me from YouTube. <laughs> but anyway, so what I want to talk to you guys about is I plan on doing something with everyone, but I figured it's something that would encourage you guys too. And I want to do something that not just for me, but to really help you guys. I want to do something called dream code, hashtag dream code. And what do I mean hashtag dream code? And when I talk about dream code, uh, within the last couple of weeks, what I've been doing is literally just thinking about code all the time. Yeah, I literally sometimes dream about code. I'll wake up thinking about code when I'm in the bathroom doing my thing. I'll think about code, right? What I've been doing the last week, and if if you've been following my vlogs, um, I've been up till 2 or 3 a.m. almost every single day just coding, studying code. Why? Because my schedule is so busy. I've been staying up super late just to study code because I told myself, no more excuses. Doesn't matter how busy I am, I have to make a way to learn code and improve and become better. So what I unintentionally did is study code three hours a day, every single day, Monday to Friday. And so I figured what I want to do with you guys, I want to challenge everyone else. And I want to do something with you guys. I want to do something called hashtag dream code. And it's a challenge where I challenge you. It doesn't matter how busy you are. But if, if, if you're not, if, and for those who don't even have motivation to learn code, maybe just motivate you to do it with me. So what I'm gonna do, starting tomorrow, is I'm gonna make a goal to study a minimum of an hour a day, Monday to Friday. Even if, I, for me, I have no time, I have to do it late at night, but I'm gonna make sure I vlog that, make sure I do a time lapse of me doing it so you believe I'm doing it every single day. The reason I want to do this is because I think a lot of times we get hard on ourselves thinking, okay, we need to make sure that we have to do better in code and why do not see self-improvement? And I think one thing you have to understand is that learning code is something that happens progressively. 
throughout time. And as you put in more effort consistently, you become a better programmer and it feels like it's overnight sometimes. But so I am challenging everyone to do this with me starting Monday. Today is Sunday morning actually. Um, so if you see this video, it'll be Monday. So starting today, I'm gonna start vlogging. That means the video will go live on Tuesday. Every day, from Monday to Friday, about what I'm doing when I'm studying code every day, what I'm studying, what is it I'm learning, to push you guys and to push myself too, to keep me accountable so I can become a better front-end software engineer, front-end developer, whatever you want to call it. Anyway guys, I got to go, got to head to church. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like this video if you haven't yet. Subscribe if you haven't, man, I would appreciate it. And leave a comment below and tell me how weird I am or cool or let me know. Love you all, thank you for watching. This is Krishan, Life More Developer and I think this video is going to be 10 minutes long, darn it. I'll see you guys later, peace. All right, dudes, so I'm going uh, grocery shopping late at night. It's about 10 p.m. right now, but look what I got. A bunch of bananas, my oatmeal, teriyaki sauce, and check out all these vegetables. <laughs> Dang, guys, I'm not gonna lie, man. All of that grocery food costs 75 bucks. That is so much cheaper than eating out because I literally spend like, I think, 25 to $30 a day minimum on food, and so, I have to admit, I have to be the first to admit that I spend way too much in eating out. It doesn't matter how late it is or what time it is, you have to put in effort to make sure that you progress and that is why I'm putting so much effort to code even if it's late at night, man. You have to make the most use of your time. What you do now will determine what you'll be in a few years from now. So do something now.